blood. There is no such thing as YouTube shadow ban. YouTube does not want to shadow ban anyone who's making them money. Why would they want to? Why would they want to take money out of their pocket? What's happening is people on YouTube are doing and saying stuff that is offensive. So of course YouTube are gonna give them strikes or whatever. And if you think that YouTube shadow ban is a real thing, and and, and it only applies to black people, or whatever, in it. What about fucking AMS? Yeah, MS is my favorite YouTuber, isn't it? Yeah, this man says all these. Yeah, I ain't gonna say the word, but you know what? Um, you know, everyone, come on, everyone knows who fucking AMS. Yeah, you know how, he, especially back in the day, he was fucking ratchet. Yeah, it's still the same, isn't it? Yeah, he still kept that energy in it. But you remember, back yeah, back in the day, like when AMS first came out, yeah, he was raw. Yeah, had he had videos taken down because of some of the offensive content that he he used to say in those videos. Yeah, but they even put the videos back up. Yeah, YouTube put the videos back up, but he 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 went shadow ban or nothing like that. YouTube took down his one of his videos because he said some offensive stuff. But anyway, the point of it is, he's a black man, yeah. So if you think oh YouTube's going to shadow ban you because you're a black person, that's bullshit. Look at Breeny Lee, yeah, black girl from the UK, big YouTuber, like oh five hundred thousand subscribers, whatever, or three hundred. It don't matter, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, proper following and that. Yeah, you got fucking Shira Seven in the in in America, black woman. Yeah, I don't think she's mixed race. I assume she's black black woman. Yeah, and anyway, YouTube don't know whether a mixed race person is a uh, 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 black or not. Yeah, they just yeah, she looks like she's black. She's black. Yeah, booming uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, look at Derek Jackson. Yeah, black man. Yeah. They're no YouTube shadow ban, yeah? What happens is, as I said before, five minutes ago, you are not going to be successful at everything you try in this world, yeah? You are going to fail at some things, yeah? Just because someone else looks like you and they say the exact same thing as you does not mean that you're going to be as successful as them in YouTube, yeah? You could, have, you could be a black man, yeah? You could fucking say the same stuff as AMS or whatever and not be as successful as him. The, 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 the evidence is there. The evidence is there. Go on YouTube. Bro, AMS is no different to any of them other man. Yeah? Most of his stuff is pretty much the same. Yeah? As most of them man there. Really and truly. Really and truly, innit? Yeah? Obviously, everyone's opinion is going to differ here and there, innit? Yeah? Cool. But... Really and truly, yeah. Them man, there's all their opinion is all their thing is basically the same, yeah. Let's not nitpick, yeah. In a nutshell, them man, they're all the same, yeah, which is cool, yeah. But he is more successful than other people. Do you know why? Some people just have better charisma. That's it. Some man just have better charisma. That is it, yeah. They got nothing to do with. The, 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 the color of your skin or whatever, yeah. You're not gonna be successful at everything. Listen. I'm an electrician, yeah? I make all this money here and there. You know, some man out here, right, who are qualified, as me, the same qualifications as me, pretty much, never done a day's work as an electrician. Yeah, some things just don't happen for you, yeah? But the whole point of it is, carry on. Try something new, yeah? Me, like I said, qualified to the nines, yeah? I'm one of the most... Listen, let me tell you something. I'm not blowing my own trumpet or nothing like that, but at the end of the day, especially for my fucking age... Yeah, I'm more qualified than most electricians walking around in this country. Yeah, because I went to uni and study H H and C electronic engineering. Yeah, but this man out here, right? Less qualifications than me. They have one little shitty, dirty white van. Yeah, and they're making four or five hundred pound a day working for themselves. Me, my thing. I've got an electrical company registered. My thing's never boomed. Yeah. Well, what am I gonna say? Electrical shadow van? No. I ain't saying none of that shit. It's just certain stuff is for you. Certain thing it might not be for you. Yeah? Look at Styles P, my favourite fucking rapper. Yeah? Styles P is the hardest out. Yeah? But you got other people with these little man coming out here with multicolored hair and that. And, and, and there's certain people don't even... There's certain people out here, right? They listen to all this commercial, commercial music. Yeah? They don't even know who the fuck Styles P is. Yeah? But they know all the rest of them man there who are just popping and that. Yeah? Some people are going to blow up. Some people, it's just going to happen for them. And some people, it's not. Yeah? You're not going to be successful at everything. And you're not always going to be successful as their next man. Even if you're doing the same thing as him. Yeah, That's just the way it goes. 
Yeah. Don't be blaming it on your colour, your skin, or oh, yeah, YouTube shout out all this bullshit. No. Yeah. Me, I talk the real shit, but look at my channel. I my, my channel ain't booming. Maybe the YouTube thing's not for me. Yeah. Maybe being on TV is for me. Maybe being a public speaker, maybe that's for me. Yeah? But I'm never gonna sit and think, oh YouTube shadow ban. No. YouTube don't shadow ban nobody. Yeah. And this is the thing as well. These people talk about YouTube shadow ban and that, yeah. But they don't tell you about the things that they do, yeah, behind the scenes, yeah. The certain YouTube policies that have been being violated and they try and yeah, they don't talk about that. Yeah. They don't talk about that. All this, you see that like all this, you see what I hear on TV. Oh, this person got shot dead, mistaken identity. Yeah. Most of the time, I just write that off, you know. I don't believe most of the time it's mistaken identity, you know. I believe that these people are involved in stuff, yeah, and they try and use, oh, you know, I was this person, some some of these people don't get shot dead, innit? but say, oh, yeah, mistaken identity. And I, no, it's not no mistaken identity, yeah. How is it that most of these people who have been shot and all this business of mistaken identity, when you trace, when you go back in their timeline, they've been involved in some shit. Yeah. I know, I know, I know someone, their son got shot in the chest with a shotgun and apparently it was a mistaken identity. No one shoots anyone in the chest with a fucking shotgun because of mistaken identity. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. And, and, and any coincidence that the boy that was shot in the chest with a shotgun but he actually survived, you know. He was in a gang, repping his area. Ain't that a coincidence? Yeah. Someone name me how many church. When I say church, I think a bad man goes church. I mean proper church people. Yeah. I mean like proper. Yeah. Yeah. Proper fucking righteous people. Yeah. Proper fucking. Someone name me some proper church righteous people. Some Jehovah's Witness that have been shot dead out of a mistaken identity. I want to know because I don't know any. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, I don't know, yeah, hey, someone educate me, innit, yeah? Some, someone, someone write down some real righteous people that have been shot dead in the head, yeah, for mistaken identity. Okay, yeah, yeah, it don't happen like that. Most people that get killed with mistaken identity, you know, mistaken identity, yeah, that people, that, then people that were involved in certain stuff they weren't supposed to, yeah? Me, yeah, I could be riding my bike, have a bike accident on my motorbike. I could be riding my bike at 70 miles an hour, yeah, at the correct speed limit. I might get knocked off my bike or whatever. Oh, this pussy old driver. Blah, blah, blah. But what about the wheelie I was popping five minutes ago? What about 130 miles an hour I was doing two minutes ago? Yeah? If I weren't abusing the fucking speed limit, I wouldn't even have been at that part of the road at that particular moment in time. Yeah? But... This is what I mean, because because a lot of men out here, they'll say, oh, bike riding is dangerous. But more bike riding ain't really dangerous, you know. Really and truly, yeah, it's not that dangerous. Yeah? It's not that dangerous. Don't get it twisted. There's some fucking idiots. Like, the same time I'm in my car and I just observe some shit and I'm like, fuck, you know. Don't get it twisted. Some idiots out here who don't know how to drive in it. But really and truly, more bike riding ain't that dangerous. I'm telling you, it's the bike riders who make it dangerous. Yeah? But they don't tell you that. Yeah, they just tell you about how shit the car drivers are. I know guys, I'm a car driver as well. And I do see some shit. But I'm telling you right now, yeah? Anytime I've been involved or close calls and that, I've been doing something I wasn't supposed to. There was one time where I got a call that my panty, my vending machine was on fire or some bullshit. Like I've gone down to my uni, false alarm. Coming back from my uni, which is in Notting Hill, riding down Bayswater Road from Notting Hill towards Oxford Street on my way home on a Friday night. There's a long row of traffic on the right-hand side going the opposite direction, yeah? There's traffic. The lane I'm in is clear, yeah? But it was wet on the floor. I decided to be speed... Uh, you know, I left the traffic lights, I'm speeding now. Some idiot, what happens? This always happens as well. Someone decides to do a three-point turn and go the opposite way, yeah? A man's coming to my lane. Bob, I had to fucking... Break the bike sharply, end up coming off the coming over the front and the handlebars and rolled into the man's car. Yeah. Now obviously, yeah, it's his fault for being in my lane. Yeah. But at the end of the day, why was I bombing it down the road? It's a 30 road, you know. Why am I doing 50 miles an hour and this Ross Clark wet? Yeah? So, you know, I had to take some responsibility for that accident. Because 
if I was doing uh, 25 miles an hour, really and truly, yeah, like, you know, you should be doing a little bit less than the speed limit. It's, it's the speed limit, yeah? It's the speed limit. You should be driving, you know, one or two miles less than that, yeah? Especially if it's wet. Especially if it's wet. But no, I want to drive at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, if he weren't there, yeah, I wouldn't have crashed into it. But at the end of the day, I have a duty of care to protect myself. Yeah, I have a duty of care to protect myself. Yeah, so with me doing all the, <coughs> these high speeds and that, I'm putting myself in danger. I guarantee you, if I was doing 20 miles or 25 miles an hour, I would have broken time and I would have been cool. But because I was doing 40, yeah, maybe about 45 or something like that, yeah, I put myself in... in in, in in harm's way yeah i have a duty of care to protect protect myself yeah i'm not relying on no one to make sure they they drive safely protect to protect me yeah you have a duty of care to protect yourself man